Now I give the floor to Mr. Dimitris Keridis, speaker of the EPP group. And I would like to congratulate the rapporteur. I feel particularly proud that both the rapporteur of the report and the rapporteur for opinion come from our political group, the EPP. And this is important because I think the EPP is at the forefront of confronting that challenge uh, that comes from or uh, often from political forces to our right. So we have a particular interest in EPP to see this uh, uh, challenge effectively uh, answered. Now, uh, we have had waves of democratization in the past, and we are all familiar with what happened after 1945 in Germany and Italy, the first, the Iberian and the Greek transition to democracy in the mid-70s, the second wave, and obviously the biggest of them all, the third wave uh, in 1989 with the collapse of the uh, Berlin Wall and communism in Eastern Europe. And we lived in a euphoria in the 90s, but uh, since then, things have changed, and we have two new phenomena, very important. The one is that this wave uh, has uh, been ebbed, is receding. We are uh, uh, watching a reversal of uh, democratization to de-democratization, uh, unprecedented and unexpected. And secondly, this uh, de-democratization uh, uh, is not produced by uh, military officers, tanks and uh, conventional dictatorships, but often by elected leaders who empty democracy from its uh, content, keep the surface, the elections, but empty it from uh, what makes it genuine. Uh, and as a result, we have a proliferation of hybrid regimes, of electoral autocracies, and we see that uh, all over in the periphery of Europe a lot. You, Mr. Chairman, know it very well, uh, coming from the country that you come, uh, this phenomenon in Turkey, obviously. Um, so this is a, a, a fundamental uh, problem where the report answers uh, very effectively saying out loud that there is no such thing as illiberal democracy. Democracy can either be liberal with all the liberal rights and institutions or there is no democracy. And this is very important to be said, especially since so many leaders in Hungary and elsewhere have tried to propagate uh, otherwise. So, uh, I think uh, this is uh, a matter of great concern that we will be preoccupied with for the time to come, one of our most important business. We have to be agile and to follow the example of what happened with my country some 50 years ago in the late 60s during the dictatorship when its membership was suspended to the benefit of the Greek people and as a result the credibility of the Council of Europe was increased among the Greek people. So we should do the same today and be as vigilant as we were back then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Indeed, I think your remarks will be replied by some Turkish speakers, since I am a chair.